So today I want to talk about the anti-aging benefits of using olive oil. There's an interesting study I'll post down below that exposes someone's blood to damaging hydrogen peroxide. It's a very powerful oxidizing agent with and without olive oil. Now, when you expose anything to hydrogen peroxide, you're going to get oxidation. But apparently, olive oil has a phenol, which is a phytonutrient. It's a very powerful antioxidant. So the results of the study showed significant reduction in oxidative damage to someone's DNA. As you age, your genes become more damaged. You become more susceptible to getting damaged, and you have less repair. And the actual length of your chromosomes get a little bit shorter. There's something called telomeres, which is a protein that kind of protects the end of your genes. So when these become shorter, there seems to be a very big relationship between uh, your longevity, okay? Shorter telomeres means you don't live as long. And that makes sense because the more damage you have to your genes or breaks in your genes, the more diseases you're gonna have. Now, phenols are a very powerful antioxidant that can counter or neutralize oxidants, okay? What's an oxidant? Well, the original definition was exposing something to oxygen and you're losing an electron, okay? So a free radical is an unpaired electron. If you take an atom and you have, let's say, two electrons, and let's say it's spinning, it's going to be very, very symmetrical and it's going to be very stable. But if you're getting rid of an electron and you only have one electron, Apparently, the atom now doesn't spin that well and get out of control, and it's going to be looking for um, other electrons to stabilize itself. So it's going to rob and steal uh, electrons from other tissues in the nearby area. And there's millions of these things. So you can see that these free radicals are very damaging to tissues. Okay? For example, when you expose oxygen to iron, you get rust. Okay, it's very oxidative. Well, that's what happens inside your body. Now, your body makes oxidants and you get them from the environment, okay? And your body also makes antioxidants and you can get those from your food. But the phenols, which is a phytonutrient in the olive oil, is very protective against your DNA, especially in the mitochondria. Now, why is that? Well, what's unique about the mitochondria is that it has its own DNA, okay? So you have the DNA inside the nucleus in all the cells. Then you have this external mitochondria that has its own DNA. It uses the DNA from the nucleus as well, but it also has the ability to make its own DNA. And there is some type of communication between the two. But the fact that you have mitochondria with DNA that is outside this highly protective vault, this nucleus of the cell, makes the DNA very susceptible to becoming damaged, especially from oxidation. And in the mitochondria, that's where you have the energy factory. So you have all this oxygen and fuel being burned up. There's a lot more oxidation free radicals in that area. And many chronic diseases, including cancer, originate in the mitochondria, probably for that reason. Now here's the big problem. Most of the oils out there, I'm talking about vegetable oils, are not antioxidants, okay? They're oxidants. They create damage to the body. And I'm talking about soy oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, canola. But olive oil is definitely the opposite of that. It's an antioxidant. It gives anti-inflammatory properties. So definitely use olive oil in your salad. Make sure it's extra virgin. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.